Here is a bonus video from our exploration of Goju Ryu Karate with guest John Paul Williams. Find a link for the full episode on the history of Goju Ryu Karate in the video description. Now, Goju Ryu has seen itself become a major component in other martial arts as times have gone forward, such as Kyokushin. Are there any ways that Goju Ryu has majorly impacted the development of subsequent arts that people might not be aware of? Wow. Uh, I think I list maybe seven or eight. I'm trying to think of the names of them. I don't focus on them specifically. Uh, but uh, if they know who Kobuta is, the inventor of the Kobutan, uh, his style was influenced by heavily by Goju Ryu. Um, several root styles or offshoots of Kyokushin were actually offshoots of Gojiru first. And when they didn't get enough kata, but they were so successful at fighting, they joined Kyokushin organization in the 1950s. And they thereafter became Kyokushin. And now they've become another version of of another style or they call themselves a different style altogether but they started with their their roots with gojiru and did pure kyokushin fighting and made quite a successful organization later on i think they group out uh, there's a kyokushin group out in new york they're not called kyokushin i, I don't at all uh they have some regional branch dojos here in california uh, spectacular fighters you look at them and say oh they're pure kyokushin guy no, they're kata. They practice uh, gikisai ich, gikisai ni, uh, saipa, saiyinchen, uh, sanseru, and shisoju. And that's where they stop. That's all their kata. That's it. But you can definitely see the gojiru influence in there. No, you don't see any gojiru influence in their kumite at all. But their kata are 100% gojiru. Interesting. Quite. I, I, I like to watch their school because it, it really draws my attention to just look at their technique and really absorb and learn from it. It's very distinct. Like, like Kyokushin itself is very distinct. You look at it, you're like, oh, that's Kyokushin. And uh -huh. it's, I, I love how, it's, how, how it is a mixture of, of, of the Shotokan and, and Goju-ru. Uh -huh. the, the, the group that I'm thinking of, uh, that their biggest dojo is in New York, they actually elbow like we do in Goju-ru kata. They elbow forward. And they elbow here. Kyokushin, I don't see anybody grabbing anyone from the behind and holding them and elbowing here. And I don't see Kyokushin at all doing, let's say, step kick and land with the elbow in a spear type way. I don't see that in, Kyok in Kyokushin. This group, these guys at this dojo, yeah, you, wear a chest protector because it's coming. <laughs> it's, <laughs> it's, they, they use it extensively. Wow, I like this. All the evolution. Yeah. It, what, what works, right? What works? What's effective? And, yeah, Let's and then when it. you find that right blend, too, when you start blending yourself together, you get the best of both worlds. Oh, wow. Yeah, I've seen some Kempo guys who I think I got to use them. I've got, <laughs> I'm stealing that technique. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> yeah stealing it. Celebrate the art of Gojiru Karate with this commemorative Forefather t-shirt, available only here at Art of One Dojo. Pick yours up on the product shelf below the video or at the link in the description.